A high court dismisses the appeal of Geisinger's COVID policy, and a Pavilion of Hope is dedicated. Today is Thursday, October 19th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. Partly sunny today, a high in the low 60s. Yesterday, a jury found Christopher and Jennifer Marks of Northumberland guilty of endangering the welfare of children for the mental and physical abuse of their two adopted children. The jury also found the couple not guilty of felony aggravated assault. The Daily Item reports the Marxes are requesting that a mistrial be declared. A judge will make a final ruling. A high court has dismissed an appeal over Geisinger's COVID testing policy. Over 100 employees claim that Geisinger unlawfully required them to submit to COVID testing or vaccination as a condition of employment. However, the high court ruled the evidence consisted of nothing more than distorted statements and anti-vaccine hocus pocus. In July, 37-year-old Matthew Bauer of Williamsport was sentenced to serve 8 to 24 years for his role in a fatal DUI accident. The Sun-Gazette reports this week he was handed an additional one to two year term. In the summer of 2020, Bauer was under the influence of alcohol and traveling at a high rate of speed on the Arch Street Bridge when his car crashed into a motorcycle, killing James Newfer and Amanda Bergstrom. The motorcycle went flying over the car of Crystal Smith and her car was then struck by Bauer's. Smith suffered a shattered kneecap. In addition to the extra jail time, Bauer was ordered to pay $66,000 in restitution to Smith. A local group is hoping to stop a proposed solar farm near Pensdale. Conditional use approval was recently given to Solar Renewable Energy of Mechanicsburg to install an eight-acre solar farm of nearly 6,000 glass panels along Quaker Church Road. The group has hired a law firm in hopes of overturning that decision. According to the Sun-Gazette, so far about 20 residents have opposed the project. Legislation has moved out of a state committee that would ban the use of chokeholds by state and municipal police officers. It may soon cost more to license your dog under proposed legislation. License fees will increase gradually over the next several years, and by 2027, annual dog licenses will cost $10. It's been nearly 30 years since dog license fees were increased in PA. And friends, family, and co-workers recently gathered at the Clinton County Piper Building to dedicate a pavilion to a local children and youth caseworker. Named the Hope Pavilion, In honor of Hope Mitchell, who passed away in April, the pavilion is used to hold family and crisis meetings with clients. Hope was a social worker with the Clinton County Children and Youth Services for 14 years and dedicated her life to helping others. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.